Ashley, how are you? Yeah, I'm late. You are the first one because I was late. I had a call. And um, right as I went live, I got a call and I had to go. <coughs> so I'm back and ready to sew in a signature on a book. So how are you doing today, Ashley? And I figure we'll wait and give more people time before I start poking holes. Yay! So glad you got your tickets. But I got it all clamped together, ready to go. And it may end up just being us, because I was late, like 15 minutes late. Er. <laughs> but it was a call that I had to take, so... Stuff happens. Oops, untangled. Oh, I know. I would be happy to. I bet you're in, in, and excited. If, you know, excited, a little nervous, all going on at the same time. I can understand. So, what have you been up to other than getting your tickets? And you probably won't sleep if you're like me the night before you go. You probably won't sleep. That's how I do. Anytime there's something like that, usually the night before, I don't sleep good at all. Boy, I got little bits of paper everywhere. And I've been working on my altered boxes and getting all that stuff together for Christmas presents. Because Christmas is like a, what, a week away? I don't have much time left. I do like my cover, though. <laughs> well, we do Christmas Eve, so I have a week from yesterday. And somebody else came in. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you for coming. We're just chatting while more people come because I was running late. I was going live and then I had a phone call that came in that I had to take. So I had to not go live so I could take the phone call. So. And I need to make sure I'm on live chat and not top chat. So we're ready to sew in the signature and then add the finishing embellishments to the journal. And then I'm trying to think what we're going to do come Thursday. My friend's not coming this week because that was the call I had to take because we've had a, a glitch in the plans. So Ramona will be here next week. And we're going to go live while she's here. And she does beaded boxes, three-dimensional beaded boxes. So that'll be interesting. She said that, yes, she would get on camera and show you all one while she's here. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to do that a week from Thursday, which will be after the holiday. And, of course, Tuesday being Christmas Day, there won't be a live. So... But I do see we have somebody else that came in, a lurker. And it's okay to lurk. It is just fine. Be a lurker. I'm just going to give some more people a little bit more time before I start poking the holes. Because this is the part that most people want to see. Is the how to put the signature in. Now, I'm going to do it all together. Normally, I don't. But because it's only a one signature thing. Yeah, you got to poke holes to sew the signature in. So, I have no holes yet. I have marks, and I can show you all how I did that, which I was going to. Um, 
but I am doing it all together today. I'm going to poke the holes in the, the cover and the signature all at the same time. And I guess since we've been five minutes, and we have somebody else that just joined. Hello, thank you for coming. So how I measured this, let me get my cord out of my way, is I took the ruler, and I know my cover is eight and a half wide from top to bottom. Hi, King Taco, how are you? So half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. So I made a mark at four and a quarter. And then, I don't like mine to be real close together, so I came in an inch and a half from each end. I just came down here and marked an inch and a half. And that's where the, the marks are. We're doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I'm doing good, thank you. And I do appreciate you coming. So we're going to be doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And what I'm going to do is I have a book that I plan on altering anyway. So, I'm going to set this in the book. Where'd my all go? And I'm going to take the all, and you want to go straight down, not at an angle. And I know that that one went through. Come down here to this one. You can feel it when it goes through. That one went through, and I'm going to come down here to this one. And I felt that one go through. So, we now have our three holes in the spine. I can get rid of the book because all it was used for was poking the holes. Making sure I didn't put my... Go through the table. I use a doll needle because it's got a nice big eye on it and it's nice and long. And today we are using embroidery floss in this really pretty turquoise blue color. Grayish turquoise if I can find the end of it. And normally, you want three times the length of the book, plus a little bit. So, we'll go to there. And then put that back. the needle and I always start in the middle hole pull it through and you don't want to lose your tail and then I'm going to go back up here to where this one is go straight through that one Oops, I about pulled my tail out. And then I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Go through that one and then go back through the middle hole a second time. And there is the three hole pamphlet stitch. Then what I do, I like to make sure I have one thread on each side of this middle, the middle. So I'm just going to go up under that with the needle, pull it tight, and I want to leave room, let's see, nope, wrong way, I'm trying to make sure, uh-oh, and the reason there's an uh-oh is it looks like I caught my thread, there we go. Okay. And you want to pull tight, but not too tight. I wanted to make sure I left room to put my charms on. I've got two little snowmen that I'm going to put on here. So I'm going to go in and cut this off. And then I'm going to tie a knot. Right over left. <coughs> Excuse me. And then left over right. And that makes a square knot, and I always go a third time. But the third time, I do it twice around to make a surgeon's knot. 
and pull it down. And I'm just going to snip that longer tail off. And I am going to put little snowman charms on here. Later. Now I can unclamp my book. Is that, that's all that's on the outside. And that feels awfully loose. I may have to redo. Yeah, that's loose. I don't like that. Because it should not be loose and wiggly. Well, let me check it. Yeah, see, that's way too loose. So, before I unsew this, I'm going to clamp it back together. Because I am going to redo it. I am not happy with that. I need to keep my holes lined up as best as possible. Let me check. No, oh, Lordy B. Okay, there's that one. Keep something lined up before I clamp it back. Because it shouldn't be loose like that. And since it is, I'm going to redo it. And it's just thread. So I can go right in here. See, there's a lot of play in there. Okay. Get my thread back. And I'm just going to pull off a length of it. And try again. See, it's all good. And then I go from the middle up to the top. And I got a clamp coming off. Whoa, that lost my tail. And then down to the bottom. This time I came up on the right side of the thread. Okay. Give it a tug. Snip this off. And I went left over right. So this time, which is backward for me, right over left. And then I always put that third one in. And I'm going to trim my little tails off again. Now let's unclamp and see what we got. Much better. No wiggly. No wiggles. We are good this time. It's in there. Yay. So if it's loose when you do it and you don't like it, just redo. 
Ooh. Hi, Crafty Kitty. Joy, how are you? Okay, King Taco. Yeah, it hurts when you take artificial nails off. So there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of coffee. There we are. Now, I'm happy with this page, except we do have to poke a hole up here and do our ribbon thing on our tags. That's what we're doing today. Just final embellishments. For the tags, I was going to use this blue ribbon. And some of this Yummy Fun Fur or Eyelash Trim. And there we go. And then I just fold it in half, poke it through. Well, I got the eyelash trim. There we go. Make a loop without losing your little ends. Got to get the loop in the eyelash. There we go. And then grab the little tails and pull it up. And that may be a little bit long, so I'm going to trim that back just a tiny bit. And there we go. We got little cute fuzzy sticking out the top. That's good. That doesn't need that. This is an envelope. Oh, and we're going to make beads today, too. i got to get my beads out, though. This needs one. My white beads. And we're going to get another little length of both the ribbon and the eyelash trim. Oops, go in here. Put that back in our pocket. And we're going to do the same to this one. And because I cut that thread and we didn't use it, for the book itself because well that's the regular size that's I think the leftover wait a minute yeah here's the, here's the short one I'm going to use some of this too so just some of the thread that we used when I had to undo the book on some of the tags we'll put all three that way I'm not wasting that thread That's pretty all together. Oops, I don't want to pull my ends through. And you just work it all down three. Uh-oh, what happened? Okay, something weird went happened, went wrong. It went wrong. Start over.
And if it goes wrong, it's fine. Oops, drop the ribbon. Now, let me make sure I have everything looped this time. Because that's what happened. I didn't have it all looped together. Grab up all the tails. There we go. And just pull it through. And that's a little bit long, so... I'm just going to trim it off a little bit. I like that. That looks really pretty. Okay. This is an, um, just a little squirrel card in a tuck spot. That's just a card. Here we have a big tag. Um, this is a fold-out tag, so I'm not going to... Well... Nope, I'm not going to put one on the fold-out tag. And some eyelash trim. I'm going to use another bit of string again. Thread, string, it's all the same. I lost my loop. Okay. My loop's not wanting to go through together. And I got them all three. Get rid of all of our little fringy parts. Put them back in his little pocket. And here we have three. So. And these are just going to get the ribbon and the eyelash trim. And I'm going to check chat as soon as I get this one connected. Where is the end of that? So there's our big tag. Those are pretty. That's really pretty all sticking up at the top of our book like that. I like it. Okay, so let's chat. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Bless your heart, Joy. Did you get everything done, though, that you needed to do with your water? Hi, Jean. How are you? Thank you, Jean. And well, Merry Christmas to you, too. 
And I hope everything goes well at your doctor's office visit. And thank you for coming and stopping by. I really appreciate it. Now, on these paper clips, they have this little hole up here. I am going to put something, either just ribbon or, because it's kind of small. I may just do the eyelash trim. I do not want to cut it. I want to poke a hole in it. And I think if we have time, I was going to show you how I made my paper clips. This part of them. This should go relatively quickly today because it's just the finishing. Once I get this done, we're going to go back and put lace on pages. I may have cut that one a little short, but I'm going to make it work. There we go. I love these little furries. They're so cute, feathery looking. I still say they look kind of like icicles, though. And I may have more places I want to put the eyelash trim at the bottom, underneath some of my pockets. We'll do that when we're putting the lace on. one all pretty up. I think I'm just going to put ribbon and some of the thread on the top of that one because they, they'll they both go through pretty easy. And I had a little piece of thread left. Okay, so take the paper clip off. Now, this could be a little bit tedious to get it to go through. This is where you may need a helper. Wrong end. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do one at a time. Got that through. Now I'm going to pull that out of my way. Let's see if I can get. I'm just twisting it together. Pull that back out of the way. Well, I may have to get the needle in there for this one. One moment, I have another solution. Tiny, tiny tweezers. Oh, they're too tiny. They're too big for that, and they're the tiny tweezers. Okay, will this work? Nope, that's too big. Well, all of the things I thought would provide solutions are not going to do it. I'm going to try again. It's just fiddly, that's all. Just a little fiddly. 
If I can get it started, I can grab it with the needle. Like I just need to hold it right there. Okay. I'm not going to keep fiddling with that. We're just going to put the ribbon through it. It's a little, like I said, it's just fiddly. It'll work on the next one we got coming up because it's got the paper clip. This one I covered up the top of the paper clip. It's there. That's actually what's making our hole. This one we have an opening. So we'll get this one right. And I think we're going to put eyelash trim on this one. And I'm going to probably end up snipping this off some because it's going to stick up way too far otherwise. But for ease of getting it in the hole on the paper clip. And I said it was going to be easier. Ha! Huh. I think I lied. I told a story. Okay, this one's going to just be eyelash trim because that's what we got. I'm just trying to find my loop so I can grab the ends and pull them through and pull that tight. And I'm going to put the paper clip back up here. And there we go. Now we're back to tags. And let me check on chat. And I see more people came in. Oh, cool, Tanya. Oh, wow, Joy. Okay, Jean. Well, I hope her visit goes good. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Thank you for coming. Oh, that's good, actually. I know. I, I used to wear false or um, nail tips a long time ago. And my nails look horrible right now because of all the crafting I've been doing. But I quit wearing those because they make your nails really weak and getting them off is a pain. Thank you, Jean, and you have a great day, and, and Merry Christmas to you, too, and enjoy your holidays. Patricia, how are you doing today? And I'm going to scooch this card up a little bitty bit. There we go. Now we have these two tags. That's a, that's a long piece. Here's the other short piece. Just trying to get it all lined up so I can snip it off. It is not. There we go. And I just make sure I have it all looped up and pull all the ends through. 
and then wiggle it down and pull it tight. And there's that one. I'm going to trim the long shaggy bits off. And this one's got lace at the bottom already. tangle in my eyelash trim. I love this white eyelash trim on here. And I'm going to give that one a little haircut. This we're going to put a bead on. So any of the paper clips that are sticking out the side will get beads on them. Also, any the pages that end up with lace will have some beads once we get them made. Hi, Deborah. How are you? I'm doing good, Patricia. How and I see that you're fine. That's a good thing. Are you, oh Deborah? Thank you, Deborah. We are in the final. I've got it sewed in. We did that earlier, and we are now embellishing the book so we can get it finished. We should be able to get finished today. I was late getting on. I had a phone call that came in just as I hit the go live button, and unfortunately, I had to end that stream. And take the phone call because it was an important call. And then it was about 50, I was 15 minutes late getting here. So I apologize for that. You guys, I try. If I put it up in the group that I'm going live at a certain time, I really try to make sure that I'm on here at that time. And I hope I'm getting most of this on camera. And this right now is just repetitive. And thank you, Deborah. I kind of want to make another one of these. I love this kit. Maybe make a mini one. <laughs> there I go wanting to shrink stuff down again. But I think like a four by six would be good in this journal. And that's about the right size tag for that. Oh, and you guys, I saw G. Kerr. I went back through some of her videos, and it's G-I-K-E-R-R. -R. And um, she was making magnet holders for her stuff. And they were really cute. And I think I want to make some of those. I just got some magnets, some strong magnets in from Wish. And I think, I think I lost a tail. Oh, there it is. Go. I lost two tails. Let me grab those. Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I? Nope. Start over. But I want to make some of those because they were really cool. And what it is, is she's using fabric, kind of like a snippet. Well, she used some paper and some fabric, but kind of like a snippet. But you put a magnet, you put a magnet, you fold it over, and then you have a, like, it might only be, this is a bad example. One moment and I'll get a better one. Anyway, you put a magnet on each side, and then you can just fold it over the top of your page and hold your cards or whatever in place instead of a paper clip. And it's really pretty. And it can be used as a bookmark. So I'm thinking I may want to make a couple of those. 
and just have them made to use in journals. One of those things like tags and stuff, because I've got a box of tags made out of paper embellishments or book paper. So that one's going to stay. This one, because it's at the top of the book, is going to get, I'm going to try to get the thread to go through here. Same piece we tried to use a while ago. Try it again. It's just a little fiddly. Aha, there we go. And then we can unravel it. If I can get it to unbraid. I'm going to snip it because it's kind of long. Okay, we'll put this back up here. That's just a journaling card. That's going to get a bead on it. We're to the middle. And we have tags. This is a journaling card, so we're going to just put him back in there. Oh, I love owls. Yeah, so I'm here. That's a good thing. I may be late, but I, I'm here. Um, I love owls and butterflies. Owls, butterflies, and dragonflies really are my three favorite things. Oh, I didn't poke a hole. <clears throat> I got ahead of myself on that one. <laughs> no hole. And y'all, this punch came from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I couldn't believe my Dollar Tree didn't have a lot of stuff, but it had a hole punch. Our Dollar Tree didn't have hardly any crafting anything. But I got a, a pretty good hole punch out of from Dollar Tree. I probably should have got two while they had them. One for a backup. Because you just never know. Uh-oh. Well, we got to redo that because I pulled that all the way through. There we go. Now I just had to get my little loops together. Grab my little feet or tails. Yeah, something didn't work. Well, that's on there. I'm going to leave that and I'm going to just deal with the ribbon. Instead of undoing everything because that made it. Although, this could get really fiddly. See if I can get that out of my way. Yep. And it's kind of loose. Okay. I don't know what happened. That's very loose. And I'm not happy with it. So. Let me redo. The whole thing. That is unraveling. Let me get another piece of thun fur or eyelash trim. Okay. And we'll try it again. Get my loops together. There's one. There's the other one.
There we go. That worked. Good time. We're just going to leave it in there. We might need to do a little snippet at the top. Okay, and then we have this tag. Put a lot of tags in here. But I like tags because they give you secret places to journal, to put photos maybe on the back. And this is going to be listed in the Etsy store, in my Etsy shop. And that link will be below this video once I get it posted up in there. Is everybody ready for the holiday to get here? We're only a week away. It's hard to believe it's a week away from today. And let me snip these little long ones off. This page will probably have lace on it. That's just a journaling card. Two little tags and another paper clip. Now, these tags, we had this, but we didn't have tags in it. I made these over the weekend and went on and put them in the pocket. Because we had put our pocket on, but we didn't have anything in our pocket. I'm just going to cut this in half. We're going to have this on both of these. So make sure I get this in with my little grouping of threads. Oh, and I didn't get the ribbon. So, straighten it all back out. And put the ribbon back. Yeah, that's about in half. And we're going to try it again. And I didn't poke that hole exactly in the center, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Here we go. My fun, my eyelash trim has a tangle, looks like. It's just stuck on itself. And I'm going to check back on chat in just a moment. Let me put this little tag together. Oh, his little furry bits. Something is not going correctly. <clears throat> you just know when it's not working. I 
And I missed the ribbon altogether. Try again. Third time is a charm, as they say. And I have got little eyelash trim hairs everywhere. And that time I missed the thread. There we go. I got it all caught up. Okay, something did not pull. Yeah. This one may just have string and eyelash trim on it if I can ever get this to pull correctly. We have a big loop back there. Just put that one in the little pocket with the other one. No, they were both in there. There we go. Shake off all the excess. Okay, we got a paper clip to do. But let me check on chat. It is hard to crochet with. And you should have seen me trying to make my little weekends, my little furry dude. Oh my, that little furry dude was a challenge. Because I covered him in brown eyelash trim and it's glued on. It ain't coming off, but to make it look like fur was a lot of fun. And let's see if we can get this to work correctly. should just go right through there but it's not going to okay see if I can just get the eyelash trim to go through if I can get any of it to go through I'll pull it like that and see if I can get that loop there we go okay we got our loop Hang on to this bit because I don't want to lose it because that's one of the little legs. And I'll pull that tight. There we go. So this one will just have the eyelash trim on it because it was easier. Oh, that's a journaling card. We'll put this back on here. Well, I don't have the whole thing. There we go. Okay. That paper clip is going to get a bead on it. We're not doing holes in the fold out. And I don't think, because it's fold out and they're already thick, that I'm going to put ribbon on the tags that are in these. For, for that reason. Because they're already pretty thick. We have this tag and a journaling card. This tag needs some kind of an embellishment on it. What can we put on here? Got to figure out what I did with all my bits. Oh. Oh, he's kind of cute. Can y'all see that? We could put him on there. Or we could put... It's on that... I like this because he's on the deer pocket. We'll put him on there. Put him on here real quick. And then we will put the stuff through the top. I missed this one when I was going through. Making sure everything was embellished, all the tags were embellished at least. There he is on our tag. I like him. Now we're going to take the 
that's not the ribbon I want. I want the ribbon on the spool. I really like how the top, that looks really pretty at the top. I love that. Really like how that's going. Okay, so we have another paper clip that we're going to just put ribbon on. And I have that little piece of ribbon. And we're not, because we're doing it on the paper clip, I'm not going to also put it on the tag. We're not going to do both. But okay, back to the little trusty needle thing. I'm gonna try to stay on camera for you guys. No, I didn't grab a hold of enough of it. There we go. And we're going to put our tag back. That'll get a bead if this needs some stuff. Oh, the white eyelash trim is going to be gorgeous on here with this owl. Be very pretty. So Deborah, when you were trying to crochet with it, what were you trying to make? Just a scarf or something? And there that one is, and that's just a journaling card. That'll get a bead. Journaling card. Two tags. I'm going to do these really quick, and then I'm going to check chat again. And I'm sorry, you guys, I know this must be boring, this part right here. Because it's the same thing over and over and over again. Oh, that's pretty. We are almost done with this part, and then we're going to glue lace in, which is going to probably be <laughs> just as boring. And I may put some eyelash trim because I like it. Well, I know where I'm going to probably put some more at the bottoms when I'm doing the lace of some of the pages. Where the envelopes are at the bottom, that kind of thing. Because it's just looking a little bit bare. What am I doing here? Pull 
hole. Something is not correct here. Yeah, that didn't get pulled through correctly. Well, the ribbon did. So keep the ribbon and just work with the eyelash trims. If I can find the loop, there we go. And there's that tag. It's got some long fringe about parts though. Oh, that's on the tag itself. Okay. Journaling card. Paper clip that'll get a bead. And one last big tag that I made to go in our tuck spot here. Then we are on to embellishing the sides of our pages. Oh, I said after those two, I was going to check chat. Let me get this last one. And I'm just going to give him a little bit of a haircut. And I also put one of the quotes on this page. Okay. So that's how the top of our book, I like this. That's how the top of our book is looking all nice and icicly and wintry and pretty. And now... We have three different laces that we're going to use. We have this and the white and the glitter. So I'm going to try to spread out how they go. Hi, Nick. How are you? Yep, he's the hubster. Yeah, I like it. It's very fluffy. I've not made one that was really fluffy at the top before, but I kind of like that. That's pretty. Oh, that's little fluffies. And we may need to, like, just trim a little bit. I mean, we don't want it to be all even, Stephen, and that kind of thing. But just get off all the really long, oddball ones. Okay, so... Think before we do lace, let's deal with the middle and our snowman. I have two little snowman charms that I'm going to put in the middle. I'm hoping, well, well then let's check. Uh, no, the no, the needle will not go through. It was an idea. But I should just be able to string this right on here. If I can get it started, I can pull it through. There we go. And I just have to decide how where I want them to be. That looks about right. So let's tie a knot. I don't want it to hang too far down. Oh, that may be too far down. Let's see if I can pull. Since it's not a knot yet. I 
I am not doing this not correctly. Maybe if I start way up here, it'll get to be as long as I want it to be. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm just going to snip that little tail off. Make sure I pull that tight. Okay. Now for the other snowman. I thought you were when you called and I was getting ready to go live. So, are you on your way home? Or are you already at home? And you're just outside. <laughs> Trying to wet the ends of my thread. I should probably have my glasses on for this, you guys. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. You know how your shoestrings have that little piece of tape you think? So I'm going to cut that off anyway. I am going to make me a little pointy part. That still ain't going to go through. There it goes. Slide him up. I'm going to slide him up higher than I think I want him because that's what happened last time and then he ended up perfect. Watch this one stay way up here. That's good. Right there is a good spot. Now I can snip off the little end I stuck the glue on. And there are our little snowmen. Dangling from the middle. So there they are. So we got that. Now, I do want to put lace on this page here. So it's what kind? Oh, wait. I'm off. Okay, cool. Thanks, dear. See you when you get here. And don't drive and watch. It's not good. He's funny. I'm going to put white lace right here on this one because of the snowflakes. And this is the way I measure. I put it down, cut it off, and we want tacky glue. And I want to get all these little hairs out of my way. I think what I like the most about paper crafting and making journals is there really aren't any rules. So it's kind of do what you want to do, have fun. And I don't think I have enough glue to hold that. Nope. I didn't think so. Try again. Then what I do is I lift the page and make sure it looks even from the back side. And that does. And I need to snip this little part off. Okay. Wax paper. 
So that gets a bead. Do we want to put, I don't want a paper clip over lace. This might be pretty with the glittery lace on it. Let's just check it out. Now, the way I made this lace is I made glitter glue. No, I did not. I put a thin coating of, of glue and dipped this in a mixture of glitter that I made to match the book. Oh, I think that's pretty right there. And we're just going to measure it. And since my book is already going to be a fluffy puffy, it doesn't matter how much lace we put or don't put. It's already fluffy. Okay, and then take the lace. And this may be a little bit harder to glue down than normal because of the glitter and it's stiff and that kind of thing. And make sure when you look at it from the back side, it looks good. Okay. And I think we're going to skip this page, but we are going to put something on this page. That's going to not... I don't know. I kind of like it with that gray. Get up the piece I chose. This is a little bit stretchy, so you want to be careful. And I want it to show more than that. So this is where you come back to the back side and you just kind of slide it. As long as it's all even, it's all. Now, I do want to put a snowflake, one of these small ones from back here, snowflake sticker on this page. And I'm not depending on the sticky that they came with to hold them down. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue, and I'm just going to put a snowflake in this corner and press it down. I like that. Just an added little extra. And while I'm, we're not that far in. See, we got one there. Okay, that's good. I don't think we're going to put any lace on that page. We will put some white on this page. And I do like my embellishments, you guys. I really do. You just need a little bit. And then... And that looks even from the top. I'm also keeping an eye out for places to add eyelash trim at the bottom. No lace on that one. Well, that might be the one to put lace on and skip this one. Because it's got the fold over card. Get the little bits out. So let's look.
yeah and I think we'll go with the blue I'm just gonna move that over because it's thinner than the cream color with the glitter on it is my thought process okay Oops. Okay, not enough glue. I need a bigger bead of glue. Sometimes I get where I just want to be real careful because I don't want glue oozing everywhere, you know. So I'm just careful. Okay, now this is where I want to flip it up and look. And we may just leave that toward the middle. Move it over just a little bit more. Leave it like that. And let me check on chat. Hi, Holly. How are you? Thank you for coming. I know. We're going to skip this page because it's got the journaling card over it. And let me make sure I didn't miss an opportunity for, nope, eyelash trim at the bottom. This one has lace, but where's the end? Well, we could still put a little bit right here above the lace. I think I like that. And I'm trying to make sure I get enough glue to put this in place. Now, what I try to do is get all my little eyelashes to go the same direction. Which can be hard. I think I got it. And we're just going to lay that on there. And I'm going to move my wax paper. And I think we want glitter lace again on this page. Hi, Mary. How are you? I hear you, Holly. And glad you could make it, Mary. We are working on my winter journal, which is a kit from Artie Mays, A Winter's Tale. And it's also got a lot of, when we had snow last year, or earlier this year, I should say, because it, it was in January of this year when we had our snow. Um, we took pictures of our yard, because we never get snow in Alabama, so it's like you got to take photos. And so we did the photo thing, and some of those, like this is a photo from my backyard, made it into my journal. Because I thought they would fit if I adjusted the color. So we're just sitting, we're embellishing, we're at the end phases. I did the signature, got sewed in today, and we're embellishing it. Final touches. Okay, and that's going to get a bead on it. And we need a white lace on this page. We're just going to scoot that over like we did the other one. Pull our journaling card out a little bit. Put our lace down the side. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, my paper clip's got two pages. I only wanted one. There we go. And I'm going to snip this off at the top. Look at the back and make sure it's all even, and it's not. So slide that one down a little bit. Okay. I think we need a snowflake on this page. So I'm just going to pull up one of these little stickers. Put it up there in the corner. Blue lace. Where did it go? Oh, thank you, Mary. Oh, this kit is awesome. I want to make another journal. I want to make like a smaller one, a four by six or something from this kit. I love this kit. Now, she did shrink it down and you can make it into an Altoid tin. So there's a mini version of this that's Altoid tin size, which I thought was really cool. I'm just trying to measure how much do I need? Now, this paper is an internet paper. That's my yard again. This one is a background from the internet. I just went looking for wintry blue, snowy colored background things. And I am going to... And I see an opportunity for some eyelash trim. Oh, and that came unglued. Let's go back and press it back in. Okay. So I'm looking at the time, and what we may have to do is I'm going to get as far as we can today. If we have to, on Thursday, we can finish embellishing it, and that's when I can show you how to do the paper clips and the beads because we won't have, oops, that much embellishing to go. There we go. Put that down. That's going to get a bead on it. And because that's folded over, this we're going to put. Hmm. I want to put lace on it. Cream colored, the cream colored lace. Right here on the edge. And it's a little harder because this already has glue on it and it's stiff to get this to glue down. But it's gluing. And that's pretty even. Oops. Man, I said that and then it comes all up. Let me re put a bead.
we have a fuzzy. Okay. Do it again. There we go. I think that's going to take. And just come over here and make sure it's all evenly laid out. Because I really need this to dry also, guys, before we put any kind of dangly bits on it. And I need to get a wet paper towel. I'll be right back. My fingers are getting gluey. Okay, I am back. I think... Yes, it's Artie Mays. And she made, she's done two of the of this size. And then she did the little mini one. Um, and I will put a link below. Oh, I will put a link below, Holly, for her YouTube. But if you do a search on YouTube for Artie Mays, A-R-T-Y, just how Patricia spelled it, it will come up. Um, she is awesome. Her kits are awesome. You get a you get a full fledged kit. Um, I did buy the add on pack for this, which had a couple of more envelopes in it and some extra tags. But really, the original kit comes with everything that you need to make a journal. Now, I did add pages. Like now, this is a background from the kit. That's a page from the kit. This is a page I added. Uh oh, I got that wet. Um, this is all from the kit, my yard, background from the internet, from the internet, from the kit, from the kit, from the kit. The tags are from the kit. Um, from my yard. That's an image from the internet, but it matched this other background that she had that page is from the kit most it's this is the kit page it's mostly from the kit I did add my own backgrounds and then I added my stuff from my yard from the snow although this page is when we get there in a moment that page is from the internet this background's the internet and this page now, I added the deer. He was an add-in. <laughs> he did not come on this page. And I tried not to make it real Christmassy, so there's some Christmas trees, but there's not a lot of Christmas in this journal. It's a winter journal. This is a place where we can add some eyelash trim. Let me measure first. I've been adding eyelash trim to the bottoms of some of my envelopes at the bottom of the page. So we get this little dangly bits off the bottom like we have at the top. I love this. I really like how it's coming out. I've not done this before. So now we'll just put a bead of glue. Get all of our little eyelashes going in one direction. That one wants to be weird. And just glue it down. And I'm going to cut a piece of this wax paper. It's not pretty, but it'll do the job. But, I also think we want some blue lace. Get our little tag bits out of the way. Slide that over for a second. And 
and I love the pocket with the squirrel on. I love the little squirrels. And then I went and downloaded some other, like he's from the internet. I just went and found some other little winter animals that I could stick in to just accentuate what was already in the kit. But that's what I do anyway, so. But it is a gorgeous kit, and I want to make another one. I'm going to put that wax paper back in just a moment. Snip that little bit off. Okay, put our wax paper back. I'm happy with how that looks. My yard again from the kit image from the internet. Okay. We can probably skip. Oh, I don't want to put lace on the edge of that one. We're going to put it here because the next two is not going to get lace. So we'll put it here and we will do the white. And I think I'm going to stick a snowflake in that corner. Mary, I saw here, I saw your video where you're doing the altered book. That is kind of cool. I haven't ever seen one altered that way before. And it took me a minute to figure out what you were doing. But when I figured it out, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I never would have thought to alter a book that way. So, y'all, if you hadn't seen Mary's video, check out her latest video. She's doing a series. It's an altered book, but it's altered in a different way than what we usually see. Thank you, Holly. Oh, I don't blame you, Mary. I would have took a nap, too, after all that. And I saw the first segment. I haven't seen the other two if they're uploaded. I haven't seen those yet. Let's get our snowflake. Now, these did not come from the Dollar Tree with this glitter on. This is the same glitter mix that I put on my lace ribbon. I just rubbed a little bit of glue and sprinkled glitter. But I don't trust their sticky stuff, so we're going to add sticky. We're just going to put that one up there. And then we have that page has lace. We're skipping this page. We're skipping this one because of the fold over card. Uh oh. I thought that might happen. This has a fold over envelope and a trifold tag. And this one's going to get. The glittery ribbon lace. Mary, it's going to be really pretty. I can't wait to see the whole process. Oh, cool. Thank you, darling. And thank you, Denise, if she can hear me. Nick stopped by the gas station where he used to work, and I have now got guest checks and actual time cards on the way so I can coffee dye the time cards and use them in my journals for ephemera. That is so cool. So they're not vintage, but I can make them look vintage. That's okay. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Thank you for coming. Oh, wow, Mary. You sound like me. And these squirrels were not part of this background image from the kit. 
I added them. I thought it needed little squirrels playing in the yard. Not that there was anything wrong with Artie Mays' image, because there's not. And I love these deer on this next page <laughs> that y'all are getting a sneak preview of. So if he just left the gas station, he'll be home in a few minutes. It's like five minutes up the road. I love these deer. I don't know where she found them. I love them. Okay. Oh, I got glue on this page. Well, we could take advantage of it and put some white. Think white. Because didn't we just use blue? No. And oh, that's an option. This is an opportunity. Oh, before I do that, let me measure. To put some eyelash trim at the bottom. And we're going to put that much. I've been meaning to be watching for these opportunities as they come up. And I'm going to need to cut off another little piece of my wax paper to put over here. Okay, trying to get all the little eyelashes going the same direction again. Although we got some wild ones that went the way they want. It's like man eyebrows. Where they grow every which way, but how they supposed to grow. Okay, so let me cut off another piece of this. I'm just going to do that so it's easier in the future. Stick that right there. think we're going to go with... We just did white. Either blue or white. Let's look at both. Oh, that looks really... We're just going to do the blue. I like it. It looks really pretty on this page. I'm not even going to audition the white. Blue wins. Put you back where you go. Oh, if I don't do it crooked, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Straighten that out. And let's lay it down. And let's pull it forward. Okay. This we need a snowflake somewhere on this page and... We probably should put lace because we're not going to have another opportunity for lace till we get back here. So, get us a snowflake. And I'm not using the really big ones. I thought I might. I went on and decorated them all. I just don't really like those big ones, to be honest. This was a page I got off the internet. And because I know I'm going to put lace, I am just going to put that one over there. This one's going to get the white. And I'm going to cut it right there. Okay. I thought it had a piece of string on it, but it was not. It was an eyelash trim piece. And I think we have another opportunity coming up for some more eyelash trim at the bottom. Then we get our little bead dangles on here because we're going to make um, just some simple white beads. I have like snow white white beads um, that I'm going to make. Just a little bead dangle to put on the end of a bulb pin. And we're going to use silver bulb pins for this. To match our silver paper clips. This looks like a good spot to put some eyelash trim. And maybe some lace. Also. So, put some lace first. Okay. 
And then we'll put eyelash trim on top of it. Now this I'm going to spread because I don't need a bead of glue for the lace. Okay, and then we're going to put a bead. Oh, not yet. I got to cut it. I got to find the end again. Keep wanting to get ahead of myself on this. That's about good. And let's see. Checking on chat. Hi, Joe. How are you? Thank you for coming. Yes, the dogs are going to bark when he gets here. Oh, bless your heart, Mary. Um, but they stop. Once he comes in, the barking will stop. And if I could mute this microphone, I would. But I hadn't figured that out yet. As many videos as I've put up, you'd think I'd have figured out how to mute my microphone. I figured out how to do it in Hangouts. It's just from the camera. Uh, no, 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 no. My lace was trying to move. I'll put it back down when I put the eyelash trim on. I'll press it all together. Okay. I'm sticky. That's the problem. I got glueage everywhere. Okay. I am going to... Try to get that to stick. I'm going to put another little bead of glue right here where it's not wanting to stick. I had this the other day where some of the eyelash trim just didn't want to stay. And I'm going to leave that alone. Cut me a little piece of wax paper. Then I can press on it without worrying about my finger sticking to it. Now I'll cut a non-sticky wax paper. I'll just put this one. There we go. That page isn't going to get any. This page needs some kind of lace. This one I think we're going to put white lace on. This is going to get... Oh, we're going to do that again. Um, some of the eyelash trim. Eyelash trim. The bottom is looking really pretty too. Cream colored lace. Eyelash trim. White lace, and we're at the end. So, this needs to have, we just did white and blue. Let's do this one again. I'm trying to space them out, you know, so there's the same amount of each color throughout the journal. I did make a whole roll of that, though. And let me wipe the tip of the glue bottle off. We've got eyelash trim all over it. Oh, it sounds like Tom is going to have fun doing that. Oh, you're fine, Joe. And that would be the hubby being home. So the dogs are going to bark for just a moment. Now they will stop because he's in. Now they're going to just make crazy sounds because he's home and he's new. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. oh cool. See, okay, guys, we're going to take a break, brief break. Oh, cool. 
So it's not duplicates, but it's the guest checks. Oh, he got me a whole pad of those. How did you get a whole pad? Because that's what she gave me. And some time cards that I can make copies. Of. These are cool. Oh, and they're red and the they're the red and the blue. Those are cool. I will definitely be able to use these in my journals, especially junk journals. That's so cool. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Okay, and my I can tell my lace is not straight, so I'm gonna pull up my page and position it from the back. This is getting to be so pretty. Okay. And we said this was an opportunity for some more of the eyelash trim. Oh, we should measure first. Because I'm trying to make the bottom of the book not look so bare. Because we had some eyelash trim already on pockets. So I figured I would just add more. And then it will be fluffier at the bottom. And poofier. And match the top more. That we've got all the tags done today. So just put the bead of glue. Try to get all the little eyelashes to go the same direction again. Which is a feat in itself, by the way. Okay. Okay. And I might just wipe off this excess bit of glue down here that we don't need. Okay, I think we're going to go on and finish up the edging of the pages. Then when we come back, we need a snowflake. On, let's see, this is Tuesday. When we come back on Thursday, because I'm not going to do lives every day this week, but when we come back Thursday, we will finish up. Um, we'll do the beads, and I'll show you how I made my paper clips. Because these paper clips are completely hidden, but workable. So it's a workable paper clip, it's just completely hidden. And I need wax paper for this pocket here. I need to put it there though. Oh, we were going to do white lace on this page. And then, um, after Christmas, the next journal I will be working on is my design team project for Tsunami Rose. And the kit is called New Beginnings. If you wanted to go look on, it's TsunamiRose.net. She has her own Etsy store, and it's, that's why it's a .net. The kit is $250. So you could... And if you, you know, wanted to get the kit and print it out, y'all could craft along and make the journal with me. I did also get her music pages, the pastel music paper, which was another 250 for my backgrounds. Because the, that kit, New Beginnings, it's, um, I didn't associate it with being for the new year. That's me. Hi, I see some more came in and joined. Thank you for coming. It's It's got butterflies in it, so I automatically associate butterflies with new beginnings. But there's some, I think one of the journaling cards or something in the kit says something about the new year. So, yes, it could be used as a new year journal. You know, where you could keep track of all your new beginnings for the year, your plans for the new year, and that kind of thing. And um, That's Tsunami Rose. I think it's tsunamirosedesigns.net. That's what it is. Tsunamirosedesigns.net. And I can also put a link below. Oh, 
Oh, you're fine, Patricia. Ooh, making pies on a live stream. You beat your paper clips, Jenny. Um, I have done beaded paper clips. And then um while this is sitting, I'll be right back so I can show you something I I did. Um I don't know how it's gonna go over. I can I can definitely do tutorial on it. Um or a process video on it. Um, let me go get it and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I was watching Artie Mays making beaded paper clips. Or no, she was not doing paper clips. What was she doing? She was wire wrapping beads to something, and I didn't have what she was using, but I was like, I have paper clips. So I took the, what is it? Mm. Okay, it's the beading wire. Um, that's like the 49 strand beading wire. And I wire wrapped these to this paper clip. So it's not a paper clip any longer. It's just a paper clip bead. And then I did a little bitty one. These are the white beads we're going to be using to make our bead dangles. But then I also did it on a little bitty one. And the only fiddly part is getting the first bead attached. That's the hard part. After that, it's really simple. Um, she was doing hers different than this. And then I came up with this from that. So I'm going to make some more of those. It just take Those take a lot of time. And I was just playing that day. I'm like, so I don't have what she was using. And I'm trying to remember what she was using. <coughs> I don't, I didn't have what she was wire wrapping to, but I thought, you know, I have paper clips. It might work. Okay. There's the other opportunity for our final. Nope. There's one more. <coughs> I'll ask trim at the bottom of the page. <coughs> this is going to get the cream colored lace. But let's do the eyelash trim thing first so would you all like to see a tutorial or a process video for how I make these and this is a six millimeter bead and the bigger paper clip these are four millimeter beads and the smaller paper clip And then I want to make those magnetic tag holder things that I saw Jean Kerr, G. Kerr make. Because I got some snippets in Happy Mail and different things that I can use for those. And I do see we have a drip of glue right there, so I'm going to just press that out. Excuse me. I think it's safe to probably grab this piece, which is, I need another piece I'm going to cut. And I need to slide that down. And we're going to put this one here. This was going to get the cream colored lace. Or do we want to do blue? I think the cream for this particular background. I really like how my journal is coming along. Okay. 
And I made that way too long. There we go. I'm also going to have a link to Artie Mays' Etsy store. It is Artie Mays on Etsy. But I will have a link to her Etsy store with this kit in the description box once the video loads. Okay. That is so pretty. Our last opportunity for eyelash trim across the bottom. Which, once we get all the wax paper removed, I think it's going to look really pretty. But right now, we have eyelash trim and wax paper across the bottom. Okay. Get that to turn correctly. Now, on the other, the previous one to this, the eyelash trim was angled this way. So, I'm trying to make sure I get them to where they're angled in different directions so it's more full. I think that will help it to be fuller. Nothing on that page and white trim on this page. Or did we, we want white. And that's our last page. It is the last page. I'm going to go a little bit further than I wanted. This end is not cut straight. There we go. Okay. And did I miss a snowflake I needed to put on? I'll go back through. Uh-oh. Oh, that's on the wax paper. What am I doing? I was about to be lost. We want it to go on this edge of our paper. And this is either an 18 or 20 page signature. So, it's a pretty good size little journal. And just pull this all up. I love that owl. Create your own magic. And there we are. And so that's what we have so far from the side view. Um, we have some little extra hair sticking out. That's the bottom. Well, we'll have to look at the bottom view later. And there's our top. I love the top. So, for today, I think we're at a good stopping place. We got all of our laces on. We got our tags tied. We got the eyelash trim on. And then... We'll make the, the dangle beads on Thursday, and I'll show you how to do the paper clips. And was anybody interested in knowing how to do these? Thank you, Mary. And it will get listed in the Etsy store when it's done. So it won't go today because it's not finished. It probably won't be listed before Thursday or Friday will be listed in the Etsy store when it is done, if it doesn't get spoken for between now and then. So if it's something you're interested in, message me and we can talk. I am available on Facebook. It is just my name. And in Messenger. Okay, Mary, I can do that. I'll make sure I get all my supplies together for Thursday. Because I was going to use the white beads anyway to make the bead dangles. And I thought these would make cute little bead dangles on a journal as well. And you don't really have to know how to bead. 
to do these. You just have to have the beading wire mainly. Um, I tried it with, oh, uh, that's not the right kind of wire. Well, I did try it with a very thin zebra wire. I couldn't get that to work. So that's when I went to this, The it's like wire thread. There is no gauge on that, Nick. It's the 49 strand wire thread stuff. It's tiger tail. I think it's tiger tail. There's different brands of it, but I know I think I have tiger tail and I got it from Fire Mountain Gems and it lasts a long time. So we've got everything lined up for Thursday. And um, I'm finishing up some altered boxes. I can show you my pink one for my daughter-in-law that's not quite done. And there's our back cover and our front cover of our drill. Set that aside. And make sure the bottom is dry. I got to glue the feet on. This is the bottom of the box. I was painting it so I can pull the little skirt back down. Let me redress my box. And what you're hearing rattling around is the feet that I'm going to put on it. That's not part of the box. Okay. So here's the top of the box. That is a napkin. And I, once I had it decoupage down and sealed, I put triple thick on it to give it a nice durable hard coat. And then I decorated the side of the box with different layers of lace. All the way around. These are little flat back teardrops. And there's lace on top. Two layers of lace on the top. And then on the inside, we have our feet, which are big, gigantic pearls. And those are going to be our feet. Um, I lined it with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and napkin. I do need to put some ribbon around the edge on the inside. It's not quite finished. And I need to seal the paper on the inside. But other than that, the box is pretty much done. I had to paint the bottom so I could get the feet on. I do need to seal this paint because it's not sealed yet. And then I can put my feet. So there's that one. And then the other one is still drying. Mother asked me to make her this one, which I made out of an altered ink box. It needs to have ribbon down the sides to hide the seams. And then it needs to have a magnet closure put on it. And... I'm going to put some more of the butter, that napkin in the middle here when you open it. This is an, if you, we belong to instant. Okay, we're back, but now y'all are dancing on the ceiling. Let me turn the camera back. There we go. And what I was saying was, and I appreciate y'all waiting. You touch my app off all the time. That's the first time today so far. They send us the ink in these little boxes. I have a stack of them. So I have come up with a way to alter the box with paper napkins. You could use wrapping paper, images off the internet. I do put lace down the sides. I do put an image in here and I seal the whole thing. This is not sealed on the inside yet. It's just been painted with flat paint. Um, I use a really strong. Hang on. Oh, they're all stuck together. Well, okay. This is the magnet that I put on the inside of the box, and it will go, as long as I quit hitting the camera, inside the box. I will paint the Dollar Tree magnet to look the dark blue, and if I flip the magnet over, they hold. So this, let me put my magnet in my box, becomes a knob. Well, the last one held that I did this with. Ah. It held through everything. And this one may, once the box is back, used to be enclosed, it's been open for so long. But 
this becomes the knob that you use to open the box with. And so you have your magnet and your other magnet. And I just paint this to match the box. So there that is. Nothing about. And it's the one that's drying currently. Thank you, Jenny. So that's what I've been doing. I've been making Christmas presents as well as my winter journal. And then I'm going to be the next journal I work on. And we have like little white hair everywhere. And then I'm going to be doing it after Christmas because it's just due by the end of the month. The Tsunami Rose Design Team Project, which is that New Beginnings kit. And I love that kit. It's really pretty. It's butterflies and pink and lace and it's just awesome. And I love butterflies. So I liked that kit and I like the New Beginnings part of it. So, we can chit-chat and catch up with what everybody else is doing. I see somebody else came in. Thank you for coming. Hope you're having a great day. The only other thing, where did it go? One of these will go in the back of the journal. Hi, Kara Hart. How are you? Thank you for coming. And you're welcome to work. One of these, I've been making these um, off the printer. I'm, I designed this little tag myself. And this one has been sealed and coated with triple thick. And I'm going to start putting these on everything that I make. So there will be also one on the bottom of that altered box. But either like in here or on, I don't want to put it on the back cover. I was thinking I'm just going to put this one down here. It just says Foxy's Creations on it. And so, it will get glued in here. And then I will also, I made, there's several of these to a sheet of paper, so I will also be putting them on the kit, or on the, the bottoms of my boxes and that kind of thing. Going forward, they will be on everything that I make. I am Carehart. Thank you for asking. Mary, you've had snow too, haven't you? And real cold weather. And I really hope you get to feeling better. So we're done for the day. And then I'm going to be back Thursday. We'll work on the final finishing touches of the book, which there's not really a lot. The bead dangles. So we're going to be making our bead dangles. And then we're going to go over how I made these paper clips which are totally hidden, completely hidden paper clips that you can embellish. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad it missed you, though. And then I was going to show y'all how I made these wire-wrapped beaded paper clips. I guess you would call these. But these are the same beads that we're going to be using for our embellished dangles. I was wanting to put three of the, I don't, I think I might have, if I have an eight millimeter, I could do an eight, six, and a four and make a snowman with no eyes, but it would still be a snowman to put on our journal. So I want to thank everybody for coming. I really enjoy y'all being here and chatting with me while I work. <laughs> and Anytime that y'all have questions, I'm willing to answer questions while we're just crafting and chatting and that kind of thing. So, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day, and I will be back on Thursday at 2 Eastern. Oh, you're welcome, Care. And this, so this kind of, oh, here's another paper clip I did. It's these paper clips, actually. I took a tab from the kit like this. Made sure that I had my paper clip where it would open. And I put the tab. I cut my paper clip. I trimmed it. 
and I cut it because, well, not that one. This one won't work. It's a big one. Okay, where's my box? I have a whole box of these. And, oh, here it is. Because I sat one day and made, here's a little one. Made a bunch using different sized paper clips. So you need a little one to do the tabs. Because you can cut it off here. Because that's where the end of your paper clip is. So, again, I line it up at the end. Trim all this excess off. And because the end of my paper clip, we're going to do this one is back here, I can cut it, and I know I need to trim this down, and I'm going to go in and trim off this side as well, and make sure I can open that. The main thing is you do not want to glue these little feet together, because if you do, your paper clip won't work. Oh, thank you, Mary. So, what you do next is, I'm going to just use Elmer's because that's what I use. I, that's what I even used to put my tickets on my paper clips. Both sides. And then I'm just going to rub it with my finger. Take your little tab. Make sure it goes down to the end and hide your ticket paper. And I probably want to do it this way. Only because it seems to be more centered. And then I'm going to try to pull that paper clip out a little bit well. Scooch it. I scooched it right off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to press this side down. I just don't want to glue the feet together. Because, like I said, the paper clip won't work. So now, once this is dry. I can get my fingernail up in there. It will be a fully functioning paper clip tab. That you can dangle something off of. So it can go. On your page sideways, either way, because it's totally reversible. And you can dangle something off of that. So, I made some of those, and they are fully functioning. And as you see, I'm not being easy with these. They're fully functioning paper clips. So, we're going to go over that on Thursday as well. Thank you, Carehart. So it's just a different way to use your tabs. For your pages, you can put them at the top. You can put them, you know, paper clip it this way, paper clip it that way. You have this little part sticking out. I'm sure that there's probably a way to make it to where there is probably a way. Come to think of it. You could probably. Oh, I snipped that one. I may have should have snipped. Did I not? Where's the one I just made? I did not snip it. That might be a problem. For later. I'm trying to use it as a paper clip. Maybe get my scissors in there and I'll snip it. That's probably not the best way to do that. I will work on it between now and Thursday, though. And see, let me separate this. If I separate it, I can get my scissors in there. There we go. Because you do want it to be separated before you put it on there. I didn't think about that, so your paper clip will work. Um, but there has to be a way, I'm thinking. Maybe them little teeny tiny Tim Holtz paper clips would work for a vertical. This would probably also work for vertical, though. I'll have to work on it. Thank you, Patricia. So that's we're going to discuss the paper clips. These, 
and make our bead dangles all on Thursday. And our we'll be finished with our journal. See if I can take our wax paper out. If I feel comfortable removing the wax paper. That one's dry. Some of these may not be dry. That one is a little tacky, but I think, no, we better leave that one in there. It's still a little tacky. I was hoping we could see the bottom. Well, maybe we'll move the wax paper shut. I know that one's still wet, so, and it's not glued. No. Rather me find out than us find out afterwards. So we'll just, it stuck to the wax paper. Glue it back down. And stick our wax paper back in there. So we're not going to get to see the full effect of all of the eyelash trim at the bottom. But you can see some of it right here. I like that. I think that's very cool looking. Our tag shifted. That is very cool looking. That one's probably not dry either. I do like that at the bottoms. And this was one of the last ones we glued. And it's going to come up with the wax paper. Because the wax paper is sticking to my eyelash trim. And I'm just going to glue that back in there. Maybe. There we go. And see, like this wax paper. Oh, no, that one's free. But I do like how that's looking at the bottom. Put that there. And I'm just going to leave the book open. I'll lay my scissors on it so it doesn't close on itself. So everything can get dry. Okay. So that's our plan for Thursday. And we're also going to add this to the back of the book. And these are the same paper clips. I just did them. It is the same exact paper clip. Just added some circles that I printed and cut the paper clip down to fit. And so you have the image on both sides of your paper. And I kind of like that. And I think what happened was I misunderstood somebody's direction. <laughs> I misunderstood what they were saying they were doing. And then when I looked up after I was making mine, this is not how they made theirs. But I kind of liked it. Happy mistake. So, it worked. Okay, guys. Thank you all for coming. And I look forward to seeing you Thursday. And we're going to work on some cool beady things. And finish up our journal. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Bye. And if I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Bye.